Hey guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2012 Lexus IS250C. This one is a standard rear wheel drive model. As you can see it's finished off in a black exterior which is a great looking color on the IS. Obviously the top is down at the moment. Get a shot of the interior. This really is such a great looking car. Outside you can see on this one you do have your body colored mirrors with turn signal indicators installed and they also do have your uh, clear film installed on them to protect them from rock chips, things like that. Body colored door handles with intelligent entry and your fuel cap is on the driver's side. Around the rear, dual exhaust, rear parking sensors, this one also does have a rear backup camera and your IS250C badges. Back here, this one is riding on O2 tires, which look to be relatively new tires. They're in fantastic shape. They are 25540ZR18s, so 18 inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes. Everything follows through on this side. Up front, this one does have projector headlights, fog lights, and front parking sensors does include your typical Lexus intelligent entry key with its leather cover. Lock, unlock, uh, panic, and then press and hold. And it will pop the trunk. Which obviously the top is down and stored in it at the moment, but you still do have a great amount of space for what it is. As I said, intelligent entry, just have the key fob with you. Come up, grab the door handle to unlock, and touch right here to lock. Inside this one does have the black leather interior, Lexus door sills, and to start just put your foot on the brake and press right here. Go ahead and close the door. We'll bring the top back up. Top will latch back into place. And the trunk lid will close. Continue holding it. And it will bring all four automatic windows back up. Just like that, nice and sealed up inside. Have the key fob in the vehicle and you're good to go. Inside, this one does have a leather wrapped steering wheel with your audio system, Bluetooth phone controls, cruise controls down below, and then paddle shifters on the back. For the six speed automatic, this one is equipped with sport, manual mode, and as I showed, the paddle shifters. Reverse, this one does have a backup camera as well as parking sensors front and rear. On the door itself, typical Lexus, it's all soft padded material up top, padded stitched leather around here. Um, both your front windows are automatic, power locks, power mirrors, all of that can be controlled from down here. Storage, you have your headlight washer controls as well as your power top, and then this button, which will one touch automatic, open and close all four windows. Down here, your fuel and trunk release as well as traction control on and off. Parking brake is down there, and then you have some different settings. For the gauge cluster, you can control right here and your gauge dimmer. This one does have a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Parking brake, as I said, push on, push off. The dashboard itself is all soft touch, high quality material. It feels and looks great. You have your gauges in the middle with your speedometer, tachometer, and then display up top where you can go through all kinds of settings and things like that. Shift indicator, and then this one does only have 53,000 miles on it. In the middle, two air vents as well as your display right here where your climate, audio, different display settings, map for your navigation and everything else will come on, your setup and everything else. As I said, the climate can be controlled from here. You have your fan speed and everything, all nice and simple. Audio system, which sounds fantastic in this vehicle. really sounds great. It is dual zone automatic climate control. You have your different zones on each side. Um, clock in the middle, hazard controls. If 
everything around there. It's very simple to use. Your AM, FM, satellite radio, CD, and auxiliary and USB. Six disc CD changer right here too. Some storage underneath of this cover. You do have an ashtray and cigarette lighter. Your heated as well as cooled seats for the driver and passenger. As I showed the shifter back here, cup holder, and then you can slide this back and you can have another cup holder right here with this attachment. Storage inside of there as well as a power outlet and then a USB and auxiliary in. Seats are very comfortable. They're typical Lexus. They're a high quality leather. They hold you in very well. They feel and look fantastic. You have storage inside of here as well as as well as your state inspection certificate. Up top, auto dimming rear view mirror with garage home link built in. You can turn the auto function on and off. Interior lighting, which is LED. As well as the controls for your doors and everything else, SOS. And typical Lexus, despite being a convertible, the headliner is still that very, very typical Lexus. If you've been around a Lexus before, you know what I'm talking about. That soft, high quality material they use for their headliners. You can see your vanity mirror, the light built in. We'll go ahead and step out of this one. Up the trunk. And outside with the top up, obviously it is a body colored hard top on this vehicle, which looks great. Inside of the trunk, when the top is up, you get a fantastic amount of space. Now, as you can see, you do have this, which if you want to put the top down, We'll just move up out of the way like that. This one does have both your carpeted rear floor mats, both storage, and then your spare tire. So underneath all of that, plenty of space back here. And then when you want to put the top down, just make sure this is locked in on both sides up there and down below. To access the rear seat, you can slide it forward from right here. And then you have a manual release to move the backrest. And I mean, stepping in, I'm 6'2", and I can fit back here. This seat is where I would sit. And this is a nice design feature too, is you can release the seat from the middle. So say you have someone getting in on the passenger side and you're in the driver's seat, you can just release it from right there. But, I mean, we can bring the seat back a pretty fair amount. And this one is reclined pretty far back, too. But I can fit back here. You can see someone can still sit up front. There's plenty of space, and it's comfortable, high-quality leather. You have the leather stitching on the sides, speakers for your audio system, back seat pockets, as well as two air vents and another ashtray, cup holders in the center. All of the leather and everything follows through on this side. And then to exit, same operation. The Lexus store sills down below, as well as the wood grain follow through on the door. And as I showed inside of the glove box, storage and your state inspection certificate. And up front too, I can't remember if I mentioned it, but this one does have a clear bra installed on it to protect the paint. You can see your LED daytime running lights. Got the headlights on. And then your projector HID headlights fog lights and under the hood on this one it is equipped with the 2.5 liter v6 very nice and smooth running fantastic this is a pretty fun to drive engine as well go ahead and close that Bring the automatic driver's side window back up. 
cut the vehicle off. You can see the steering wheel will power tilt up when you do that. Move the key, headlights back into automatic mode. And as always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you aren't in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.